Jared Jacobson, Marketing Art Police. So I got in a little contest with my friend Deb Ward, the Irish realtor. I'll link her channel below last month. And we decided that we would make a video every business day between the middle of March and the end of April. And I'm doing all of mine on YouTube and she's doing some of hers on YouTube, some of them on Facebook Live. But the whole goal is to have a video a day. And what I noticed today was I was about a month in. I'm a wee little bit less than a month in because they run two days behind. But I wanted to show you what happens over the course of a month when you post a video on YouTube every day. To start, I had about 177,000 views lifetime on my channel. It was created in 2008. And then I also had 1,044 followers. And now we're going to take a peek at what it looks like. I'm comparing this period, the last 28 days, with the previous 28 days. And you can see at the very tail end, this is kind of when we started. Um, so it's not quite perfect, but it's good enough for me. So watch time in minutes. I have almost tripled my watch time, uh, about three times as much. That's just going up because I'm adding videos, to be honest with you. The view duration has gone from 3 minutes and 24 seconds to 4 minutes and 40 seconds. Now, that isn't, um, that isn't cumulative. That just says that people are watching my videos longer. Now, the thing about that is, had I done 30 videos or 20 videos of shorter duration, say I did 20 videos of 2 minutes long, that view duration would go down, which wouldn't be an indication that I was doing good, bad, or indifferent. It would just mean that I had made shorter videos. Now, I have functionally made shorter videos more in the 7 to 10 minute range than the 2 to 3 minute range. But a lot of my old videos, I had them that went, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes long. So that to me is um, a, still a really good indicator that my videos may be getting better. I may have more hooks in them where I'm drawing people along with me. Like one of my hooks now is I'm going to show you what my channel looks like from lifetime at the end, and it's pretty shocking. And that's one of those things that you can do when you're making videos to try to get people to watch all the way to the end is to be interesting throughout. One of the reasons why I am doing this is to hit the 4,000 hours of views in a year that uh, you need to have revenue on your channel. I could have done it years ago when you didn't, when they didn't have that qualification, but I don't, so I'm working on that. So that's one of the reasons I'm making all these videos. All right, let's look at our views. I think this is really shocking. So um, I have had a, a channel since 2008. I didn't do a ton with it, um, and I had some videos on there. I was joking around with somebody and said I made two videos last year. I don't think I made two videos last year, but I made a lot of private videos for my newsletters for groups and things like that rather than having so many public news public videos and i think i really hurt my channel because of that which is fine i can always fix it um but this this publishing every day is really getting it up and let's look at some of these other numbers here excuse me while i take a sip okay so the views have almost doubled too so the watch time has almost tripled, views have almost doubled, my likes on my videos have gone from 30 to 137. Now that's a little bit, I had kind of a hater, and so I asked some of the gals in my Facebook group to like one of my videos, and they came out in fours, which was awesome. So a little bit of that is just that I wanted to increase the likes on that one video, but it is increasing overall. My dislikes have gone up too, I had zero, and now I have two. Um, I'm not concerned about that as a ratio. I think if I saw a lot of dislikes that people were not liking what I was doing, um, then, that, then that would make me sadder. I also am not a huge, you know, I'm not a huge YouTuber, so I don't get all the crazies who dislike my things. Mostly it's people who already know like me and trust me who see my videos. 
All right, my comments have gone way up. Now, I think it records my comments too, which I think is weird, my return comments to people. But I have gotten so many more people talking to me. One of the reasons why is at the end of my videos, I've been asking people to subscribe, like, and comment the way that you're supposed to do. And so people are, you know, surprisingly enough, su subscribing, liking, and commenting more. All right, shares. This is total crap right here. So it says I went from nine shares to 87. Now, the reason that happened is because instead of just sharing on my social media, I have been sharing through the YouTube interface because I feel like that makes YouTube happier. So why wouldn't I do it? I'm also using the dig share button. And I think that um, I don't see really very much um, uh, views from dig, but that notwithstanding, it doesn't hurt to do it. Videos and playlists, I don't think that, you know, that's just a function of how many videos I've done. I think I sorted them a little bit better, too. Um, so that's nothing. And then subscribers, this is crazy. I think this is amazing because I got 25 subscribers last month, and I got four times as many subscribers this month. And that is just, um, you know, what is it? It's a combination of... I'm getting more random people that are finding me on YouTube. I'm getting more um, people who who I am sending out my newsletter, letting them know I have videos, and they get excited, and they're moving from my email newsletter list to there. I'm posting more of my videos in my blog posts so that people that read my blog posts may like me on YouTube and go follow me on YouTube. It's amazing. I'm really impressed with this. And last but not least, I wanted to show you what my lifetime stats look like because this, I feel, is super fun. Um, as you see, my watch time in minutes, it did okay. I was doing way better early on, and then I bumped along for a while. And this is what it looks like. That hockey stick going up is when I started last month doing videos every day. So that's crazy, the amount of um, view time, watch time that, that's happening there. Um, and the rest of it isn't, isn't so exciting. It's all just the same. But I thought that hockey stick was really fun to see when you um, realize that all I've done is publish more videos. I haven't done anything super exciting and shared them on my social media. So hopefully that helps. If you like this video and you like videos about marketing, please make sure to subscribe. And if you like this video specifically and you want to help me with my likes over here, go ahead and hit the like button. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.